feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend Okay guys, so you guys have seen this refrigerator already. It was in the old house. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks in the kitchen. It looks so good. And let me tell you, this thing was a beast to get into the kitchen. First and foremost, we had to take the door. Remember there was a door. There was a door here. You can still see the little metal hinge thing. There was a door here. I had these towels. I'm going to lay them out on the floor. Um, and so the guys that deliver the refrigerator had to literally take this door off. Then in order to get the refrigerator into the kitchen, they had to take these two French doors off, this off, and something in the back because the refrigerator was too big for the opening because this is a 1920s house and normally the doorways are a lot more narrow than the doorways today. So they literally had to completely gut the refrigerator to get it into the kitchen. Let me tell you guys, it was about six hours, okay, before they got done bringing the refrigerator in because it needed like special tools to get it in here and some of the tools we just did not have. Luckily, thank God, our neighbors have like a whole garage boatload full of tools that they helped us out with. So that was the only way that they was able to get those get the refrigerator in here so they you know scratched up the floors a little bit which i put some um wood filler on there and i'm going to sand it down and then i have the stain um the exact stain to um stain it you know stain over it and then put the polyurethane or polyacrylic whatever it's called put it on there um but they did manage to you know scuff up the floors a little bit and also the walls so they had to get the refrigerator in so I just went ahead and just put some wood filler on all the spots that got damaged and I'm going to um, sand it down and repaint it I have the paint and and it it'll look brand new again so as you can see we did get the dining room semi unpacked there's still just a few more boxes in here um, but it's definitely not terrible. Say hi, Nyla Beasy. Say hi. She's enjoying the house, you guys. Um, the hallway is completely free of boxes. There are no boxes whatsoever. Let me turn this light on. In the hallway, it's completely free of boxes. Thank God. There goes the cup. Um... <laughs> Everything is completely free of boxes, and I'm sorry about the blurriness. Okay, sorry, you guys. Um, and the living room is semi put together. I have some curtains that I put up there. Um, those are probably not going to stay. I do love these, these curtains. I got them from Walmart. They're like a linen material, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's not going to stay because it doesn't touch the ground all the way, as you can see, and I need them to touch the ground. Plus, I do have a different curtain rod that I want to put up here, um, but it, you know, gives us some type of privacy for now. And that's my, my hamper for my dirty clothes. This is a box of picture frames, and these are all decor <laughs> for the living room. All decor for the living room so this is what it looks like right now we don't have a rug yet I'm taking my time because I want to choose the perfect rug so this is what it looks like right now um, I moved this in here this is not going to stay either I just needed something to rest the television on um, our wall mount for this television is at the other house so we're going to be grabbing that tomorrow and mounting it above the fireplace um, and putting that up there. And it's semi-cleaned, semi-cleaned out. We have the Monopoly. Um, we're gonna play some Monopoly later, but yeah. So I have no curtains here yet. 
these are all the curtain rods <laughs> that's in the corner guys i'm telling you like i literally have no time this is why i had to stay home today to kind of just try to get this place in tip-top shape but it looks so big it is big from here it's, it, i'm just so amazed because as you guys know the living room that we had before the family room was just not this big at all um it literally was like the space right here <laughs> um so i'm just so grateful to have this big space um but i do want to tell you guys of a change that is about to um, take place okay so this room i originally had a plan for our eating kitchen nook area and it works for us. It works for us. It's a great space. It's right off the kitchen. However, we don't need two dining rooms, you guys. Like, the way we are, we're just a practical family. We're definitely not a formal, sit-down, formal family in terms of, like, having a formal, formal dining room. So, what we decided to do was we did have a dining room set that we chose that we were going to... Um, we started ordering it, but we actually canceled the order because we just decided that we are going to use a table that we already have. It does have a leaf in it and it could extend to seat, I believe, eight people. Um, so we're going to bring the leaf from the other house over and put it in and just get two armchairs from um, Home Goods. And this is actually going to go in the other space, the other dining room space. And then this space is going to be my a guest room for my mom. For when she comes up, she can have a place to stay. Um, my best friend, when her and her husband come, they can also have a place to stay. So this is going to be the guest room because we're going to put a guest room in the basement, but we're just not ready to get the basement completely done yet um so when we actually do get the basement done it's just going to be like a recreational lounge um kids space you know so we're putting a sectional down there flat screen down there the game um video games down there like a little refrigerator an arcade game and things like that and then um like a craft room laundry room is going to be down in the basement and then this is going to be the guest room which i think is really nice it's a very sweet and cozy room it's extremely quiet um so i figured to put the bed and it's going to be a queen size bed that's going to fit on this wall two nightstands this buffet um china cabinet not a buffet but this china cabinet i'm actually going to be putting it in this corner it's going to catty corner um and then the flat screen is going to go on this wall and then I'm gonna have like a little dresser right here where they, she can put her clothes in and stuff like that. The light is of course going to be changed. I'm gonna change it out to a fan that has a light within it, in it and then um, put some new blinds up, new curtains up and a brand new rug and new floors. So this is what this room is going to now be. We are also going to be putting a door um, a door here privacy door so it's good for my mom um, it's good for my mom because climbing the steps for her is a little bit more difficult now so she's going to um, there's no there are no steps for her to climb the bathroom is right off of the room the kitchen is right off of the room so she literally can just come into the house and walk to her room and drop her bags and relax so that is what I'm looking for for my mom, um, just for her and my dad whenever they do come. I keep saying my mom because my mom is really the only one that come, but um, just so that they have a space that you know they can relax in and sort of be away from all the chaos that is the city. So this is the original dining room, but it was going to be our formal dining room where our new dining room table is gonna be in. So this is where the table is going to be in now. And um, I have to revise my design. <laughs> um, 
I have to revise my design for this room. So, yeah. So that's going. To, that's the change. You know, there's always going to be changes made um, because you're planning and you're decorating, and it, it takes everything takes time to get done. So that's what that's going to be. Okay. So this is the my master bedroom. This is the bedroom set that came yesterday. This is what it looks like, you guys. It is so beautiful. My bed is not made, so please excuse that. Um, everything is, you know, this is real life, guys, real life. <laughs> I'm showing it to you in real life. <laughs> um, this is what the dresser looks like, and I just absolutely love it. It's like a farmhouse um, furniture set. And I just love all the finishing that's on there. I love the dark knobs and it's just so beautiful. I love the details in the mirror and the headboard. And then I love this beautiful wood finish. Oh, it's just so gorgeous, you guys. And then this is the chest of drawer. It's a five drawer chest. So this is my husband's dresser, and then that's my dresser. And up here is going to be our flat screen. Obviously, we're not done. Uh -huh. it's, it's going to take some time to kind of get everything together, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the journey. And of course, we're gonna get new light fixtures, we're gonna put curtains in here, and lamps, and a new rug, and the floor is gonna get done but all that in due time. So let me show you my kids' rooms. So this is Michaela's bedroom. Still has all the clothes on the floor, so don't mind it. It's a little dirty right now. But this is what her room is looking like. This is how it's set up. This is her dresser, her closet. She did go ahead and put a wreath on her door and her um, her gallery wall. So her desk, we have the desk at the next house. We're going to um, get it, spray paint it white, and it's going to be here. And then her chair is going to go in the desk. And then this mirror is going to be, um, you know, basically laid against the wall as her full her full length mirror. Um, so that's what it's gonna be. But this is how her room is set up and she has such a remarkable view, you guys. Like, look at the view outside of her window. This is what she she's looking at every single day. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I feel like we live in a tree house. It's so many trees. It's absolutely stunning and gorgeous and peaceful. So that's her room and she has a queen size bed. And then this is Mikey's room. <laughs> still unpacking boxes. Like we still have so much to unpack. But this is his room. He's got our old bedroom set. And he's getting a brand new um, TV that we have to mount as well. We gotta put some blinds and curtains up. This is the mirror. Um, let me see if I can show you. This is what it is for now. Um, as you can see, she has no floors whatsoever. So I am going to put some new floors on there. And she does not have a closet door yet. So of course she's taking all her clothes and diapers and it's all ending up on the floor. So this is this was her, her old headboard. And so this is her her bedroom. Um, this is her setup and she also has a queen size bed. All my kids have queen size beds. Um, we just put that there for now. That's not staying there. It's going to be changed and her little flat screen. Okay. I can't show you her because she is always butt naked. <laughs> and Michaela is watching Dance Moms as she always does. Um, let me see if I have a little time. I can take you into the mudroom and show you guys all what the mudroom looks like right now. Okay, 
So this is the mudroom. This is the setup of what it looks like right now. I think I had shown you guys the floors. I'm going to change that. Not, I, I, I'm just not feeling it anymore. I actually want to put down a darker floor um, color. So this is what it is right now. That headboard is going. Um, I have the bench to put there. This is going to be painted black. This table is not going to be there because the bench, the new bench, is going to be here. Um, I went ahead and first started painting this and I thought it was like a dark gray. However, it looks like stain or something. Well, as I was painting it, it was like dripping. It just, I just didn't like it. So I went ahead and I got some black paint, which I absolutely am loving. So I'm going to paint this black and then I'm going to go ahead and get all my hooks up and um hooks up down here so this i'm trying to get it to stop being blurry so this um uh these hooks that i'm going to put up this is for all the jackets and then this is going to be for all the pocketbooks and backpacks things like that i still kept my little wall because i absolutely love it it looks like shiplap to me and i'm going to keep my door i'm still contemplating y'all painting the door black <laughs> i'm contemplating but i just don't want it to be too much black um because the floor is going to be dark and the door is going to be dark so i don't know i'm still kind of thinking about it and then i'm going to change out the light fixture and this door i am going to also paint i probably just paint it full white or paint this side black and then or paint the whole thing black i'm still contemplating i don't really know so but i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the mudroom is looking like before it's a lot of crap a lot of stuff <laughs> that i have to clean up so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and charge up this battery and then i will come back and give you a after once everything is cleaned up that on tape. I got that on video. I got that on tape. Oh my gosh. Are you alright? Everybody's out here yeah? enjoying this nice patio and backyard. Get bit up by mosquitoes. We gotta put some lights out here. Mommy. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Nala, she's chilling out. Nala beat my She did? Yeah. She did? yeah. She Let me see it again. She's like, oh, 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 like it's all the time. She got down and she got back up. She's like, oh, oh, oh. She beat it. Come on, Nala, run. What? Run. What? Run. Run. Yeah. Run. Run. <laughs> Run! <laughs> She's like, okay, that's enough. There's too many mosquitoes out here for my taste. See, we got our table, you guys. We bought our table.